Hello students, come to the next lecture. 2 mean. Large sample, 2 mean. So, last question, our last topic we solved a single mean concept. So, in that single mean concept, we see in a two questions. Now, let's go to the 2 mean. So, what is the working rule of this 2 mean? Let x1 bar and x2 bar be the sample means of two independent large random samples of sizes n1 and n2 drawn from two populations having means nu1 and nu2 and standard deviation sigma1 and sigma2 to test whether the two population means are equal so what is our aim here to test whether the two population means are equal so we are identifying population means are equal or not equal that we are going to identify in this two mean let's discuss again let x1 bar and x2 bar be the sample means of two independent large random samples of sizes n1 and n2 so it is nothing but can i say previous topic single mean Talking about the only one sample, yes, there he talk about only one sample. Here he talking about the two different samples. So that's what he denoted or he treated the first sample in terms of x1, second sample in terms of x2. Then which of mean is denoted by x1 bar and x2 bar and those of the sizes are n1 and n2 and which of population means nu1 and nu2 okay right so now we uh, later we see a working rule of the single mean there he is telling that null hypothesis nu h0 x bar equal to nu there we denoted right but here nu equal to nu2 i mean nu1 equal to nu2 and in alternative hypothesis we will denote it as nu1 not equal to nu2 then what will be the formula of step number four test is the final formula of modulus of z equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 so this is the formula of 2 mean right so now we'll go to the first question right the means of two large samples of sizes 1000 and 2000 members are 67.5 inches and 68.0 inches respectively can the sample be regarded as drawn from the same population of standard deviation 2.5 inches right so what is given here the means of two large samples of sizes 1000 and 2000 members are 67.5 inches and 68.0 inches respectively so it is nothing but can i say given you two different samples yes given you the two different samples in the question and first sample of size is given mean is given similarly second sample of size is given and which of mean also given to you so what i'm writing here sample size n1 equal to 1000 is given and similarly this same sample of mean also given you right sample mean x1 bar equal to 67.5 and also sample size n2 equal to 60 i mean 2000 and also given you sample mean x2 bar equal to 68.0 yes right so these are the values are given and also one more value is given you that is can the sample be regarded as drawn from the same population of standard deviation 
2.5 inches so it is nothing but both the sample both the different samples of the standard deviation is same right so sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 equal to 2.5 so this is given you in the question right so what will be the formula of the true mean that is z equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 see this is the formula of the two mean right so what is the working rule of the two mean null hypothesis h naught it is saying that nu equal to nu1 equal to nu2 nu1 equal to nu2 and next alternative hypothesis h1 it is saying that nu1 not equal to nu2 and next step number 3 level of significance alpha it is given you in the question or not given you in the question tell me alpha value did not mention in the question so if alpha value not mentioned then we know as a standard value for alpha that is 5 percentage so 5 percentage in Gathamad can I say 0 0.05 alpha yes right so now what will be the value of z alpha at 0 0.05 tell me and uh, we see into the last question at 5 percentage we have three rows yes or no i'll show you once see there are three rows i told you first row not equal second row greater than third row less than so in this question alternative hypothesis we are taken as not equal yes or no so at, at not equal then your 5 percent is 1.96 yes so 1.96 see i took the value of z alpha 1.96 and one, in this question he did not talk about alternative hypothesis yes so that's what i taken as not equal mu1 not equal to mu2 right i got a value of z alpha now fourth step we need test statistic that is z equal to or modulus of z equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by under root of sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 so which will become so sigma 1 square equal to 67.5 minus 68.0 by under root of sigma 1 square so 2.5 we have value in the question sigma 1 right so sigma 1 square 2.5 whole square by 1000 plus 2.5 whole square by 2000 okay then by calculating we are getting the solution of this model subject is minus 5.16 therefore i mean this is the value of z equal to okay then what is the value of model subject it will become positive yes right so now i got a value of model subject is 5.16 z alpha value is 1.96 so step number 5 that is conclusion which is bigger in these two is modulus of z is bigger than z alpha or z alpha is bigger than modulus of z tell me modulus of z is bigger than z alpha if modulus of z is bigger then what are the given data in the question is there that is accepted yes so hence 
null hypothesis H naught is accepted. Okay, is it, I think everyone is clear to you. So now we'll see one more example question to you. The average mark scored by 32 boys is 72 with a standard deviation of 8 while that for 36 girls is 70 with a standard deviation of 6. Does this inform, does this indicates that the boys perform better than girls at level of significance 0 0.05 so in this question what are the values are given to you tell me the average mark scored by 32 boys is 72 so it is nothing but size n1 equal to 32 and which of mean x1 bar is 72 is given you and this sample of the standard deviation sigma 1 equal to 8 is given to you while that for 36 girls is 70 with standard deviation 6 so it is nothing but can I say n2 equal to 36 and which of mean x2 bar equal to 70 and which of standard deviation sigma 2 equal to 6 can I say yes does this in from does this indicates that the boys perform better than girls at level of significance 0 0.05 so which of solution we have to find okay right you can solve the rest of the solution